Hey everyone, in this 4 minute videos for developers season 17, we are going to talk about API fault handling and error flows. Prerequisites for this video, you need an apg edge account, you can sign up at apg.com slash edge. You need basic concepts of apg api proxy, for that you can refer earlier 4 minute videos. Let's talk about what is api fault handling and uh, what are error flows in apg edge. As you know, apg edge sits in between the client and backend uh, system and the api proxy that you create will be exposed as an API to the client and all the API calls go through the APG system. Whenever you have an API, there are a lot of uh, faults that might happen due to various use cases. For example, quota might get exhausted or uh, you will hit an endpoint which is not available in the backend server or the backend server itself might go down sometimes. And how do you handle the faults is very important when it comes to experience of the clients and the apps and the partners. In this episode, let's talk about error flows. Let's say whenever a request comes to apg edge and if there is any fault occurs in apg api proxy for example the quota might get exhausted or for example there are some variables which uh, do not get resolved or due to any uh, case the error happens at apg then any further policies after the error will not be executed it will be skipped and the api flow will go into something called error flows similarly an exception happens in the backend like 404 not 400 or 400 by request then again in the response flow it it goes into the error flow and any subsequent policies will be skipped you can able to attach the policies in the fault rules that we're going to see it in future for videos but in this video let's talk about error flows and uh, what happens if there is an error to demonstrate this error flow concept i'm going to use a simple api proxy click on api proxies and uh, click on plus proxy button choose reverse proxy click on next i'm going to name the proxy as error flows demo and uh, slash v1 slash ef mock so i'm going to use http uh, bin.org as a backend endpoint and then click on next choose path through choose defaults build and deploy once api proxy is deployed uh, access the api proxy overview screen where you can see the proxy endpoint as you can see when you make an api call you just get the response back from http bin.org Let's say for example, you are doing a quota and then some policies you are executing after the quota. Let's see what happens. Click on preflow, click on plus step, click on uh, quota. So I'm going to add a simple quota. I'm going to remove type calendar. I'm going to say uh, two calls per minute and then remove the start time and asynchronous configuration. As well as change uh, distributed and uh, synchronous to true. Let's also attach some other policies after the quota. For example, let's say I'm doing spike arrest. So what happens is when quota gets exhausted, then fault will be raised in RPG edge. No further policies will be executed after that particular policy, which is raising an exception. Let's see how it works. So I'm going to save the API proxy and uh, click on trace. For example, let's make an API call to slash IP. Only two calls are allowed. So after two calls, the third call, the fault is raised from quota policy. As you can see, the first two calls, both the quota and spike arrest uh, got executed, but the third call only quota got executed and no other policies got executed. Because the reason is uh, the policy raised the exception and uh, it, the API flow went into something called error flows. None of the policies of, in the request will get executed and the same behavior applies to response to. Same concept applies even for uh, error that is raised due to the backend server. None of the policies will get exhibited in the response flow. For example, if I am adding a simple JavaScript policy in the response and I'm doing um, print hello, then if there is an error raised by the backend, then this particular JavaScript policy won't be executed since again, instead of executing the response flow, it goes into the error flow. Let's see it in action. So I'm gonna switch on trace, start the trace session, and then make an API call. As you can see, since the backend thrown 400, none of the policies in the response flow got executed. For example, similarly, if we do 200, which is a success according to RPG, and you should see JavaScript policy getting executed in the response flow. There you go. And you can see the hello misses. So if that's how RPG handles the faults, and if there is any fault uh, happened due to RPG at the backend, it immediately uh, takes the flow into the something called error flows. We will see how to handle these errors and change the response or uh, modify the behavior of the API whenever a fault occurs in uh, future format videos. If you have any questions, please feel free to post your questions in company.apg.com. Subscribe to YouTube channel and share this video with your colleagues and friends.